Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy and Hen Dog, and we back to it. You know how we do it. Team like Kyrie and KD, or the Lake Show with King James and AD. Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the '80s, but no black and white. I need that in HD. Hen Dog. NBA legends on why Penny Hardaway is a legend. And it's crazy that I was going through my videos, I don't have one Penny Hardaway reaction video. That's crazy. That's crazy. There's no way that I went through all these videos and haven't had one Penny Hardaway video. But we're here now. We're here now. So if you're a Penny Hardaway fan, man, write something in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like this video. This is going to be a really good one. Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Penny Hardaway. You know, if injuries wasn't a, a factor, you know, he could have been top 10, top 20 all time. That's what I was hearing, man. So let's get into it. I don't even want to do too much talking. We got NBA legends on why Penny Hardaway is a legend. Let's get it. We pass. We pass. And shout out to Basketball Time Machine, too, man. I got like five videos I'm doing today, and they all from him. So shout out to Sean Davis. Hey, this is Sean Kevin. This is Gary Bates. Hey, this is Bobby Saul. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the Basketball Time Machine with my man, Sean Davis. Before we get into it, if you have not seen Penny Hardaway reaction video, make sure you check it out. Before we get into it, if injuries weren't a factor, who you picking to have a better career? Penny Hardaway or Grant Hill? Let me know. That's tough. That's super tough. And I even want to throw Derrick Rose in there too. So those three. Rank those three. If injuries never happened, well, who do you think would have had the best career out of Penny Hardaway, Grant Hill, or Derrick Rose? That's tough. Let me know in the comments though. Hello, good day to y'all. How's it going? Hello, Sean My name is Sean David. David, and I welcome you back to the Basketball Time Machine. That's Nelly. In today's episode, I'm going to take a look at NBA legends, giving their opinion about Penny Anthony Hardaway, one of my favorite players of all time. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content. All right, enough said. Let's get right into it. Let's get to it. You know how we... Write in the comments will come next. Somebody the other day was just like, you always talking about write something in the comments, but yeah, I want to keep y'all engaged. I feel like that's fun, right? If you got a YouTuber out there that keep you engaged and every time you watching a video, you know, you got something to write in the comments, you got something to talk to other people about, you got something to, for me, me and you to have one-on-ones with, like, I, th I think that's dope. So let me know if y'all want more write in the comments or less, or if I do it too much, let me know. Let me know if... Let me know if it's too much. <laughs> Now the first player's opinion that I want to take a look at is from Tracy McGrady, a.k.a. T-Mac, who was Ooh, heavily influenced by Penny Hardaway. What players were you growing up studying and idolizing? Dog, Penny was my dude. Mm, of course. One for Orlando. <laughs> you couldn't Kill tell me Lord. shit about Anthony Penny Hardaway, bro. Mm. Yeah, yeah, y'all kind of similar. Yeah. Why you think that's why I wear number one? Right. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 never, I never knew that. I never knew that. That's why I wear number one. My dog. Mm. That that was my Michael Jordan, bro. Mm. Growing up. Because you yeah. got to think, he played for the Magic. I grew up 30 miles right down the street. Right so down. I watched him mm. every single day. Bro, Penny is magic? Yeah. Penny is true. Penny is that old? I mean, I remember him, you know, being young against uh, Jordan, but I didn't know he was playing against magic. Sheesh. Bro. Hell yeah. Bro. People don't forget oh, how cold. They forget how cold Penny would have been one of the greatest players Ever. hands down if had an Ever. Ever. injury. Yes, sir. Penny yes, sir. was a killer. So that was my dude, man. Footwork, you know, passing ability. Uh, he, was, he was cold, man. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. How, Sway? Passing ability. Uh, he, was, he was cold. How, Sway? Great edit. <laughs> Great edit right there. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I know they both was Orlando number one. And he was guarding. It was an exhibition 
Oh, scrimmage? Mm-hmm. And the next Great player's edit. opinion that we're going to take a look at is a former teammate of Penny Hardaway's. It is Horace Grant, who obviously played with Penny for the Orlando Magic. Let's take a look. They, they forgot about Penny Hardaway. 6'7", six, 6'8", six, like a um, um, hey. Magic Johnson, who can shoot the ball, very athletic. And athletic. So, I mean, his IQ was off the chart when it came to... Uh, Basketball. And the next player's opinion is also a former teammate. It is Shaquille O'Neal who was asked about Penny and Kobe Bryant and has a very interesting... I kind of want to go back to what Horace Grant just said. Like, basically, he's saying if, if Penny Hardaway was healthy for the you know, majority of his career, he was going to be better than Magic because he said he was Magic Johnson that was athletic and can shoot. Those were Magic's two flaws, that he wasn't that athletic and that he couldn't really shoot. So being Magic Johnson with both of those, you're going to be better than Magic. So, damn, that's, that's, that's high praise from Horace Grant. Point of view. Let's take a look. You know, he was a cold cat. He really yeah. was. He really was. That's something I always think about. Like, if I would have did a different, I probably could have stayed there, ended up there, or on the pizza team. Like, I always think about stuff that, that could have hey. like, impacted my life a little differently. Is that a regret you have? Yeah, because I always think about it. If we would have stayed together, how many, how many we could have got? Pass. Do you think you would have got multiple more than you got in LA? That's that's the hard thing. Yeah. But but no. he was that good. Right. And he was a Y'all think that if he would have stayed if Shaq would have stayed in Orlando, he would have got more championships than he, than the three that he got with the Lakers? I say no, just for the simple fact that yeah, you can argue that Penny Hardaway could have been just as good as Kobe, if not better. But with the Lakers, Shaq was in a perfect situation. He was in that triangle offense. With Kobe Bryant and Phil Jackson. Like, yeah, he had Penny Hardaway, but who else he would have had? So let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think if he would have stayed in Orlando, he would have got more than those three rings that he got with the Lakers? Let me know. Kobe. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Tough. What'd he say? Penny was Kobe before Kobe. I was going to say, but Penny wasn't as good as Kobe. Like, let's be honest. Penny was not going to be a top three player. Penny got injured. Penny had injured. Oh, you sure about that? Can you say Penny could have been a top three player of all time? Because that's what Kobe is. Yes. If he didn't get injured, yes. Penny came in like that. Penny was a dog. Hold on. Penny came in like that. Took Kobe two, maybe two and a half years to get to that level. Penny came in. He was already like that. Yeah. First year he came in, we went to the finals. Penny was Kobe. And that's why I always tell people, he was Kobe before Kobe. People Mm, give me flat like that. Kobe? He he couldn't have turned out, but if he wouldn't have gotten that, he'd definitely definitely be up there. Kobe before Kobe? Kobe was a cold cat. You know it. Yeah, Uh, boy. If he had stayed healthy, Reg. Penny said so. First ballot Hall of Famer. Easily. Mm. I mean, can do everything. I know people like to compare him to Magic Johnson. They were different type, tall guards. Penny was special because he saw the floor like Magic, but I thought he was a better scorer and maybe post-up player than Magic. And to remember him and Shaquille at a young age. I know. At a young age, I mean, we had our battles back in the early 90s going against those guys. And we were fortunate to beat them, but Penny was just a rookie. So I knew the following year, once he figured it out, and they took us to seven games and beat us in, in, in seven games. So you're really on paper, um, if, if both players were healthy and both players were you know, functioning the way they, they were capable of, it was a fantastic backcourt pairing. You know, two playmaking guards, two scores, two two guys who you know, played with pace, played with energy, um, shot making ability and Penny's um, situation. You know, a, a, a prolific scorer in, in, in his prime, um, with the bounce that he had in his prime. It, it was a, a really an interesting and unique combination. Although both combustible, both have ego. I think they really wanted to make it work. But health played a huge part in not allowing that to happen. Mm. Jason get up top of the Long key. Hair, Jason the key. Hey! Penny Hardaway! Slam! Bam! Slam! What a play! Oh, brother! It's a very exciting time for us to say that uh, Penny Hardaway is now a Phoenix Sun. Uh, with Penny, there was a lot of time, and Phoenix. I was excited. I thought uh, this was going to be someone that could help me, uh, you know, make the game a lot easier. Understanding Penny's talents and what he did in Orlando to help them win. All of a sudden, I really believed that 
this puts us as one of the elite teams in the NBA. And our expectations Danny are Ange? much higher than they were a week ago. Everybody was just uh, everywhere. By far, to me, the best point guard in the NBA. I mean, he's, he's a great guy. He, he's very unselfish. Uh, I've known him and uh, had a relationship with him before uh, even thinking about coming to Phoenix. And uh, it was always, uh, I thought in the back of my mind, going to play with a, with a point guard of, of that magnitude. Kidd starting to back down. A nice bounce pass for Hardaway who scores. What a pass. I would love to play with Jason Kidd. Unbelievable. <laughs> Give well, me a I mean, lot of easy buckets. Like, obviously, a first ballot Hall of Fame player. There's no question about it. I mean, he just made everybody better on the court. Um, his vision, um, his size, his speed, triple double every night. I mean, he was just that dynamic of a player. And then, obviously, Penny was an incredible talent. Um, injuries kind of sidetracked him. Well, Lakers, but um, phenomenal player. You know, athletic at the point guard position, played above, way above the rim. Mm. Um, great passer, great vision, and both those guys just had tremendous feel for the game. But obviously, Penny was slowed down just because of the injuries. Oh, I know, but what's the dynamic backcourt? Mark you know, West, who was that, yo? Guards in the league, Penny, six eight, long. Both could, you know, play off the ball and on the ball. Um, I think you two very gifted guards, uh, physically talented, skills talented, and the way they thought the game on another level. We never got a chance to even see if they were truly a good mix or not. And that was unfortunate because of because of injuries to you know, reminds me of a Penny Hardaway type guy. Tall guy, skinny, can do it all. And think what Penny Hardaway used to do with Shaq. And now he's doing this on the court, doing some fantastic electrifying the crowd with his passes and be able to come and knock down three. Now let's talk about the next Michael Jordan, but who is your game pattern after? You know, I never pattern my game as anybody, but I can receive flashes of magic and uh, some of Penny Hardaway, one of my favorite players. Uh, and again, the roses, and we're excited for this one. LeBron Penny was giving the roses early. In three seasons together in Orlando, Penny and Shaq averaged 56 wins per season, a four-time All-Star. Three time he was playing NBA. against Robert Pierce? For our segment, Give Them Their Roses, where we have NBA players that we think need to get more love. Hey. And the man, the myth, the legend is joining us. Oh my god! Bro just almost dislocated his kneecap. Oh wow. Way to be ready for the ball though. Way to be ready for the ball, Horace Grant. Look at D. Look at D. It's a Hey! You know, for me, being a huge Penny Hardaway fan back in the days and even until today, it is obviously my obligation to feature Penny every once in a while because I think he was much better than people give him credit for. Anyway, you guys, that was it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and post a comment if you enjoy the content. And hopefully, I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. And his smile is a great video. Um, I said it in my last one that I definitely need to react to that uh, Why Grant Hill Was Not Human video, but this was great. Um, one thing that I didn't really know um, about Penny was how athletic he was. Like, I knew he was a great, you know, great player, tall, um, skinny guard, you know, like there wasn't too many 6'8 point guards back in the day, and still not even to this day, it's still not, but I didn't know that he was that athletic. Like that's something that I, I took from this video, but let me know what y'all think his greatest strength was. Was it his passing? Was it his athleticism? Was it his shooting? His defense? His feel for the game? His toughness? Like, just let me know what y'all think his greatest strength was, but I appreciate y'all for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. Go ahead and like this video if y'all like this video, and go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know where does Penny Hardaway rank if he never gets injured, man. Where would he be at in the all on the all-time list? But I appreciate y'all like always. We out.